In Vienna around 1900, what had been a rather sleepy and parochial world of visual art suddenly exploded into the new colours and forms of early modernism. But what lay behind this eruption in the arts, and can we hear something similar in the music of the period? To find out more, I went to the Belvedere Gallery in Vienna. Yeah, they still live totally in a real 19th century spirit, mm. everything. Slow, mm. not very internationally focused, not yes. at all, very well focused on themselves. But you also have to understand that at that point, Vienna is the center of a huge empire. Mm. Yeah? Mm. And it was a melting point here in Vienna mm. of different cultures. Yeah? What yes. happened in Vienna was that there was a radical change suddenly yeah? mm. in architecture, in in the paintings, in the visual arts, but also in the music. Of course. And it all yeah. interacted. If there is a work that maybe does pinpoint um, the beginning, as Klimt said, and the secession pronounced of a new area, of a new moment in history, which breaks with the old and brings in the new, it is this painting, Nuda Veritas, um, of course, taking a key subject of Klimt, the naked female figure but doing it in a very different way from the way he did it before. And it was shown in, in the Secession exhibition in 1899 and again caused a scandal and um, outrage because it is not some kind of antique Greek goddess or some other allegorical figure. It was seen as a figure from today. It was a contemporary female figure, which of course is presented to us full frontal, naked, She's holding up the mirror, the mirror of truth. Towards us. Towards the, the audience. And of course, you do have that very programmatic statement again by Schiller. You can't please um, everyone through your deeds and through your works of art. Just please a few, because um, pleasing many is bad. Again, elitist to degree, but also commitment to... Somewhat. <laughs> the commitment to quality. Okay. To, to truthfulness and, um, to, well, in some ways to radical truthfulness, to the naked truth right. and um, really not compromising at all and trying to find or realise this objective of, of creating a new modern contemporary art. The secession was so successful that they actually, from the proceeds of the first exhibition, which happened in 1898 in the spring, managed to build this um, own exhibition building devoted to the secession. And that all happened within the space of six months. And they sold about half of the works in the first secession exhibition and also had some sponsors to help them finance um, their own building. And um, again, it's it's sort of encapsulating what the secession was standing for and of most importantly is that motto over the, the entrance der Zeit ihre Kunst, der Kunst ihre Freiheit to every age it's um, art and to art it's freedom liberating the arts but also to create an art that is relevant uh, for the age that is contemporary that it reflects the contemporary concerns Ver Sacrum is this other inscription, the sacred spring, that something new is blossoming mm -hmm. and um, that um, there's a new beginning for, for the arts and for all the arts really.